Welcome to Calvin University. We are so glad that you are here. Uh, we are so glad that you're part of Quest, which is Calvin's Welcome Week. And we hope that not only over this next week, but over through this whole through semester, and actually your whole first year, that you feel welcomed, that you feel that you belong here at Calvin, that you have a sense that this is home for you. We hope that even starts over the next couple of days. We have uh, been planning for months for your arrival. We've probably had probably 27 different plans on how we were gonna attempt to do in-person orientation. And we've landed on one that we hope works right now. So it's not as we would hope, but through social distancing and through keeping our masks on, we really hope to still provide you an amazing orientation program that's gonna help you transition from high school to Calvin and to higher education. We have had great interns in an O board that's worked really hard at being creative. They had to be really like change plans on the go, like I said earlier. And I wanna just thank them for their hard work and dedication to all of you in the planning of Quest. Last February, we scoured Calvin's campus. We were looking for some amazing student leaders. We looked high, we looked low, and we found what I think are 32 amazing servant leaders that are here to serve each and every one of you. They're your orientation leader. And I really wanna encourage you to lean in to that relationship. OLs can be critical in a student's success here at Calvin. And so we hope that you see them as a mentor, as a friend, as a great resource, and that you can really get to know them in ways that maybe you hadn't thought that you'd get to know upper class student so quickly. And so thank you to our orientation leaders who have been training this past week, who have a real heart to serve all of you, and we're excited about what this week holds. As you know, uh, 2020 has been uh, a strange year. I'm not sure how you describe it, uh, but uh, it's going to go down in the history books, I think. As we think about uh, starting this school year, a mixed COVID, I just want to make sure that we can keep each other safe. And uh, wearing masks and staying six feet apart is going to be so critical for the success of this year. If we want to be on campus, if we want to be in class in October and November, it's going to be so important that start right from the get-go, that we take those things seriously, that we care about our brothers and sisters in Christ enough to ensure that I'm wearing a mask and I'm going to try to stay six feet apart from people. And I think if we do that, I think we 2020 can still be a great semester and a start for you here at Calvin. Long before COVID though, I've seen students wearing a mask to campus almost every year. Now these aren't the physical masks that you have on right now, but they are emotional masks that often we wear. And those are the masks I want to talk a little bit about today. In February, a little bit of foreshadowing, I did a training on what it means to be a transparent leader. And I challenged those student leaders who were there to decorate a mask, to kind of lay out what kind of masks are they tempted to wear. And I brought some of them here today. So this student, for example, said they're tempted not to be humble or to wear a mask that really doesn't show people that they fail. This one's about, they wanna wear a mask that's about truth and love and they don't wanna be dishonest and put on a dishonest mask. And they wanna make sure they wear a mask that's all for the glory of God. This student talked about being a perfectionist and having that be the mask they wear and being wearing a mask of fear, maybe being fear of failure and what that looks like. I appreciated this mask because it's, Someone says like they want to take off the mask of always being on their phone and that being a crutch and they need to drop the act of trying to be someone that they're really not. And I'm not sure what kind of mask you've been tempted to wear in your life. But it's really important as you think about this new start, this fresh start, is how can you be transparent about who you are and how God's made you? And I want to challenge you to think about taking off some of your emotional mass 
in spite of having to wear a physical mask. Like I said, this is a fresh start that doesn't make you a new person to coming to Calvin, but allows you to make different choices, to take off the mask that you may have worn in high school, to be open and more transparent to the people around you about who you really are and how God's wanted to turn you into that person. So I wanna challenge you this semester, as each day you put on a physical mask, and use that as a reminder to say, what kind of emotional mask do you need to take off this year? How can you be more authentic to the person that's God's calling you to be? I wanna open up quests with a word of prayer and then just explain a little bit more about what that program is. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for being a God who loves us and cares for us, Lord. And Lord, as we really try to be safe, we just ask that you would really, through your Holy Spirit, grant safety to every new student, every current student at Calvin, that this environment might be a safe learning environment. But beyond just our physical safety, Lord, this semester, we think of the emotional safety of students. And Lord, we just ask that through your Holy Spirit, that you might reveal to us, Lord, the mask that we are wearing, the mask that we're tempted to put on to hide who we think we are, who we need to be. And Lord, through your Holy Spirit, may you begin that work in us, that we can be open and transparent and honest with those people around us. Lord, we pray a blessing upon this quest orientation over the next three days. May your spirit be thick on this campus that we sense your presence. And Lord, may you receive all the glory and the honor. In your holy name we pray, amen. So like I said earlier, we have an amazing three days of quest for you. Your orientation leader is going to walk you through your schedule each day. But really what Quest is there to do is introduce you to the mission of Calvin University. And Calvin College is there to really promote you thinking deeply, you acting justly, you living wholeheartedly as Christ's agents of renewal. And each day we're going to challenge you to think, to act, to live in a way that reflects Christ's mission for us all. We hope that this start is a great start. I look forward to seeing you around campus over the next couple days and weeks. Blessings.